In this video, we're going to be using Barrister and Man and Passiflora and the Carve Overlander Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back and welcome in, welcome in. It's very good to have you today. Today we are using Barrister and Man Passiflora, and this was sent to me by the Razor Company. So today we'll try to answer the question, would I buy this with my own money? First, let's get into cost. This runs $19.99 for four ounces, and on our cost chart there, that is $4.99 an ounce, which is a fair price. Really nice scent on this one. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. What I get is a fruity scent with some green, and it's very, very nice. I like it a lot. This is in the Barrister and Man Omnibus base, and I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. It is very, very soft to the touch, but I didn't have any problems lathering it today, so I look forward to really good shade with this. I have used the Omnibus base before, and it is a very good uh, base, as is all the bases from Barrister and Man. I've really never had a bad Barrister and Man soap in terms of quality, and we look forward to using this today, and I remind you, if you order something from the Razor Company, use promo code IMCDB and it helps the channel and at least half the proceeds of any affiliate income that I get from that will go to gift cards to give away to you all. So thank you so much for supporting the channel if you do. The razor for today is a magnificent razor. This is the Carve Overlander razor which, which comes in under a hundred bucks. This one is brass and I have a Christopher Bradley uh, Gladius type handle on it because I didn't really care for the stock handle on the razor and I hope Chris at Carve makes some three or 3.25 inch handles for the Overland or soon, but this works really, really nicely. This is a nice, efficient uh, razor that most people seem to love and the price is right. So it's under a hundred bucks and I tell you, Carve uh, just has tremendous value in their offering. So when you see like Rockwell raising those colored razors to 150, this to me is a much better buy as is the Christopher Bradley razor, just my opinion. All right, let's get into it today and we hope to have a great shave. We'll start by misting the face and remember, links for the products will be below, uh, if they're available that is. So take advantage of those. Always look to the information under the video. I get asked a lot of times, where do you get this, where do you get that? Links are always below, including that mister right there. So please keep that in mind. The brush for today is West Coast Shaving Infinity brush. And I think we have a pretty nice lather here today. Again, it was very soft. So I tend to use a little more product when there's a soft soap. And if it's really soft, I tend to put it in this bowl, the Cayune uh, brush works because there's more spaces for it to sort of hold the soap and it tends to work out pretty well. And nice lather though, no question. Barrister Man always makes a nice um, quality lather, always has really. And the scent strength on this, at least medium, I would call it at least, probably medium high. So you don't really have to go looking for the scent on this one, it will be obvious once you get it lathered up. And it is a very nice mixture of uh, uh, fruity, bright, with some green, or at least that's the way it comes across to my nose. But keep in mind, uh, scent perception can be wildly different, you know? And so sometimes I know the artisans are like, that note isn't in that soap. Well, you know, whatever somebody picks up is what they pick up, right? It's just like when you eat certain things, you may really love it and taste certain things, maybe when you're tasting wine or whiskey, and other people may not get that. And it doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means that's the way you sort of perceive that, that scent or that taste or what have you. And so keep that in mind. You may get something different, you know, out of the soap than I do, but to me, it's fruity and green and, and very, very nice, I would say. All right, let me get this down here, cut back just a little bit because we don't have to shave down quite that far. And I hope you are all having a great, great day so far. Uh, let's plug that sink so you don't have to listen to it drain as well. We try not to be annoying, no more than we already are. <laughs> All right, there we go. 
and that feels beautiful. Uh, the blade is Gillette Nasset, as always. So yesterday I had a gentleman who comments from time to time, and he said, would you do a blade pairings video? And, and I respectfully declined, and the reason why is, for me, I'm not very finicky about blades and razors. Once I find a good blade, it tends to work for me in almost all razors. Rarely do I need a particular blade for a razor. And honestly, if I need a particular blade for a razor, I'll get rid of the razor because I don't want to be bothered with it. Um, I, I like a good all-around blade that works in everything. Like this Nasset today just feels tremendous in this uh, Overlander. And the Overlander just feels really nice and smooth. So what I'm looking for is good sharpness and good smoothness, and this Nasset provides that. And it provides it in every razor that I own, because I've used it now in just about every razor I've owned, which is a lot. And so that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to really have to buy a bunch of different specific blades for st specific razors, unless they're like a different type of blade, like Artist Club, single edge blade, injector, so on and so forth. So I tend to standardize on a good blade that works well in all my razors. However, um, as I'm fond of saying, I try not to deny anyone else's experience. So if you get better results out of very specific pairings, then go with it. But for me, it's just not my thing. Um, I just want to grab my blade and go with it and use it in any razor that I own. And I switch around razors a lot. And so this Nasset has been perfect in all razors that I own. So that's what works best for me. However, I do encourage you to experiment, especially if you're new and find the blade that works best for you. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But this today is super, super smooth, which is exactly what I like. Cutting effectively, efficiently while being smooth. And I would say the, the Carve Overlander here is deceptively efficient, meaning you don't feel a ton of blade, but it's cutting better than you think it is. Um, so I do like the razor a lot, and I also like that Carve uh, continues to provide good value in this space. Uh, he's not charging a king's ransom for most of his razors. Even his stainless steel razors are pretty well priced relative to other premium offerings. And the fit and finish on these carve razors cannot be beat. Um, it is just exceptional. You'll almost never find a flaw on them. And uh, so I think carve is, is just a tremendous value, especially the brass offerings, which to me shave just as well. I have the carve stainless steel um, razor, the carve aluminum, the brass are just as good as all of those. And in fact, I really love the brass. So I don't know if I get anything more out of stainless steel, to be honest with you. I, I don't think I do, but I like having them all because carve is just a really good value. And I really appreciate that about carve. Um, because he's kept making a very fine product at a very reasonable price and it's resisted the temptation to just start doing you know, exotic things and charging, you know, wild prices for them. And so that's just not my thing. Now, if you're one of those folks who own those type of razors, that's no knock on you, but it, it's not attractive to me because I really like it when other people get a chance to try things, you know, and they're relatively affordable and Carve hits the spot on that. And there's many other companies that do as well. Above the Tie has a lot of affordable offerings. There's a lot of companies, Razor Rock, of course. I mean, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Razor Rock. Um, lots of good, good quality razors that aren't, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars uh, or five hundred even now. So that's something that's important to me personally, um, because I think honestly, if if new people come in, $500 for a safety razor is a hard, hard thing to convince them of. But however, um, when you get that game changer for sub $70 and they get into that and maybe they buy something else and then later on down the road, the carve here at just under 100, the Overlander, not, not bad at all. It's a great razor too. So I really appreciate that. That's important to me. All right, let's get this underway for pass two here. 
Again, very nice smooth razor. The soap, which I haven't spoken much about, you know what you're getting from Barrington Man. It is a really good quality all the time. And honestly, people get, they fall all over themselves talking about all the new bases. Every base Barrington Man has ever made has been very good for me. And I don't know that one is significantly better than the others. Even if you went back three bases, it would still be excellent, quite frankly. And so is the Omnibus base better than all the others? For me, no. It's it's still a great base. Um, but, uh, and I always say the same thing about A and E too, so I'm very consistent in this. You know, it's, they're all good. And so if you get a Barrister and Man Soap, it's, it's probably most likely going to be very good. If you lather it properly, it's going to give you everything you need and then some, actually. I think Omnibus, I don't think it has lanolin. So that would be one thing that if you love lanolin, I don't think it has it. If I'm, I'm going off memory, so if I'm wrong, forgive me. But I think it's lanolin free. I think that's one of the selling points. Because some people are uh, allergic to lanolin, evidently, so... Keep that in mind. If you're a lover of lanolin, you might want to try one of the other ones. Or if you just need it in your life. I don't know if anybody needs it, but you might. All right. Very nice. But it's very slick. Uh, the scent is fantastic. And so, yes, this is a scent that I would buy with my own money. Um, it's very, very good. Very, it's a good combination. For me, very pleasant, very nice. And I do like it a lot. They, every now and then uh, there's a sort of green vibe that comes through and it's very pleasant. And the, the fruitiness too, I like it. It's just a very pleasant um, scent overall. And the razor is just fantastic. Just very good razor. So this razor has received what some folks call hype. And for me, when the accolades are justified, it's not hype. This is just a good razor. It's not hype. It's a very good razor. And in fact, all the razors that I've gotten from Carve have been very good razors. Once I found the correct plates, which was key, and I have Jack from the virtual groom room to thank for that, because I had initially, I think I owned the Carve with a B and C plate, and it just wasn't enough for me, and I just did not enjoy it. And once I got that E and F, and it was like, oh, a game changer. So if you get the right plates um, that suit you, and he has a vast variety of plates for the Christopher Bradley. The Overlander doesn't have different plates, but the Christopher Bradley does. Phenomenal razor. Definitely one of my um, favorite razors. And this Overlander is very good as well. I don't know which I would pick, honestly, if you told me. Your Christopher Bradley on F or G, or the Overlander. I don't know which one I would pick at this point because I haven't used this one as much as I've used the Christopher Bradley. But it is good. I think when I get the full, I, I want that uh, Overlander handle to match. I think when I get that handle, um, it will sort of put my mind at ease and then we'll be able to compare them um, better. But they're both really good so am i going to get rid of one for the other one no because i love them both it's that simple and i tell you what that was just a beautiful beautiful shape nothing to complain about there let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post stay tuned and all right we are back and off came we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our paa alum after using the alum there was no sting so super smooth shave no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Barrister and Man Passiflora. I really enjoyed it. Nice, fruity, slash, green scent to my nose. I enjoyed it a lot. And don't forget... If you get something from the Razor Company, use promo code IMCDB and it will help the channel. And also, I'll be giving gift cards away as a result of any income I get there. So thank you if you help us out. I really appreciate it. Really good soap here, Passiflora by Bear Stern Man. We also use the Magnificent Carve Overlander. Great price, great quality, fit and finish is terrific. Marvelous shaver here, I really like this a lot. Carve is just excellent, they make excellent razors. It's as simple as that. 
We used our West Coast Shaving Infinity Brush and it's in a Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And off cam, we will finish it off today with once again, the wet, the face, the quiet man. And we're working slowly towards the bottom of it and we will get this out of here eventually. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. As always, God bless.